Hey guys, my name is Miles, and today I have a deck profile from Corey Fretwell, uh, aka the Ajama Knight. <laughs> he just topped Brotherhood Regional on the weekend, and he's here to do a deck profile for us. So, if you want to get into it and explain your choices. Cool, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I played Monarchs, uh, no extra deck with Reasoning, um, and yeah, I came sixth place. Um, I only I lost one and I drew one. I lost to Cosmo and I drew to Monarch, and that was about it. So, yeah, I'll get into the deck profile. So, I played three Ufa. Um, MVP in the mirror match. Free Erebus. This card was amazing all day. Uh, free Curaz. I know a lot of people play two or one of this, but this card, like when I was playing Reasoning, it's a really good out to like if they call it wrong, Mask of Restrict, Fog King, stuff like this. Um, so and like pop in Chicken Games was really good. So Curaz was amazing. And these are the only monarchs I played. I decided to cut Festa last last minute. I know a lot of people play that, but I cut it last minute because I hated it. If I didn't open it, it was pretty shit. So. Yeah, um, then onto the squires. I played free Edia and free Idos. Um, I almost didn't play this. I almost played Mithras and Rad Layers, but I realised how important Edia is uh, to recycle back like pantheisms and uh, like you could banish something off um, for Prime and then add it back by tributing Edia. So like, amount of times I'd like banish Domain um, and then like add it back with Edia. So I had it. So it was really strong. Uh, so that's everything for the monsters, guys. Uh, onto the spells. I played free pantheism. Free Domain, uh, Free Stormforth, Free Tenacity, I played Free Return, I know not, this is <clears throat> not common for uh, Quantum Builds, but I just wanted to see this card as early as possible, especially in the Mirror Match to get like Aether to hand, um, and if I could like double Tribute Summon, I could like double Erebus, so this card was really good, and it was just like really good bait to send off of um, uh, Erebus and like Aether for their effects. Yeah. Uh, and then Final Monarch card was a March of the Monarchs. <clears throat> How was that for you? This card was amazing. I'm so glad I put this in. Like, so many people disagree with like playing this, or like they would side it and stuff. But it's such a blowout if you like if you go first against like uh, Draco Pals or BA Phantom Knight or something like that. If you have like this and you'd like Erebus them, you have to main a march up. It's so hard for them to get over it. Like, it's it's insane. Like, it's a really good one off. Like, I wouldn't play any more copies, but it was honestly it was insane. I'm not cutting this card. <clears throat> How often did you see it? Uh, all the time because what I'd do is I'd like if I wanted to see this really quick, I'd like. Um, send it off of like um, Aether or Erebus and then like I banish um, Prime no banish this uh, yeah, yeah. Prime and then tribute the Edia add this back to hand activate yeah. and it stops them you stop your uh, big ones being Veilers and stuff which is amazing so so many people are main decking Veilers so this got like this was amazing um, then I play free upstart <laughs> two chicken game and two reasoning um, right. I want to explain something this is a 41 card deck and I was playing free upstart um, so the lazy answer I gave was because I wanted to, like, I'd search out my whole deck and then this card would be really powerful when I used it. Uh, pretty much, yeah, that's true, but, like, I was just mainly just stubborn. I just, um, <clears throat> I just didn't want to play less than three upstart. It sounds really stupid, but, like, and it never, like, was bad at all. It sounds really stupid, like, this was never bad playing 41 with three upstart. It is bad Yu-Gi-Oh, but... Uh, and I am just going to play two upstart two chicken game in future, but yeah, I played that and it worked out. So, and then free. Why, why did you only play two reasoning? Uh, I didn't want to always sit in my opening hand because I didn't want to like mill through all my spells and traps like straight away. Yeah. I'd want to like I don't know, do all my searching and stuff, and then like upstart a chicken game into it, and it'd be so much stronger because I'd have more of a chance of hitting the monsters. Like you don't mind this card is like really good for like anti brick hands because. Um, it can send pantheisms and primes, and then you have like tribute fodder and like search fodder and stuff like this. But I didn't want to have it too much that I'd end up milling through all my things for Aether and Erebus. So, but like two was amazing. I wouldn't bump this up to three whatsoever or cut it down. Like this card was so good for anti brick hands, like it was amazing. Yeah. So that's the reason I played two. And then trip cards, free prime. Uh, only playing free prime because I play the reasonings, um, and it's really easy to get into grave. Uh, I wasn't playing Escalation, which people were playing, just because I don't like the card. It's a good card, but like I just don't like it personally. Um, and I wasn't playing any like like real back row, like um, Warning or uh, Strikes, because Twin Twisters is a card, and I didn't want to like lose out to that. So, yeah, that was everything for the main deck. Okay. Uh, moving on to the side deck. Uh, there's only a couple of relevant actual cards in this deck, but... Uh, I played three of the Sticky String Kaiju. You played this one, yeah, not the 3K one. Not the 3K one, as uh, someone got wrong on their channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I digress. Um, 
but I would cut this for Gamatio. I just didn't have Gamatios at the time, but this card was um, just for Fury against like Power Ranger deck and stuff like this. But I never actually played the deck, so I never sided this in. Yeah. Uh, two Majesties. This was perfect. I almost put three in, uh, but Majesties is really good against like water. It's good in the mirror match if they don't have Stormforth. It's good against Cosmo and it's good against um, BA Phantom Knight. And it actually won me my Cosmo and my BA Phantom Knight matchups, apart from the one that I lost. Uh, just because I didn't see it. But this card was like amazing all day. But I wouldn't main deck it because if you main deck this and you like play it straight away, you can't do anything else. You have to literally sit behind this. And if they out this and you have all these cards in hand, like you can't do anything with like your monster effects like Aether, Edia. It's just, it really slows you down and you can end up losing if they just out this. Yeah. So that's why I side decked it. Uh, it was really good though. Uh, three Twin Twisters. I don't have to explain. Mask Restricts a card. Two breakthrough skills. I sided this in almost all the time, just in case people playing Fog King. But then when I didn't, when I didn't see it, I just side it back out. Mm. Uh, it's good for Fog King. It's good for the mirror match if they try and cure as you on your turn. Uh, e for effect, whatever. Like this card's amazing, so it's gonna stay in there. I might even bump it up to three. Um, so that was the relevant side deck, and then I played two Battle Fader, and then three Royal Decree. But I borrowed one for the day. I'm probably definitely gonna cut these. Like I never sided this in. I could have sided against Cosmo, but I wanted to go first against Cosmo with Majesty's Fiend. Um, and I didn't want to have this as a dead card in my hand against Cosmo going first. So, battle fader left. So, why no Maxis? Uh, I just didn't know, like, I didn't know what I wanted to take out for Maxis in the main. Um, that's literally it. I would have played Maxis if I knew what I'd want to side out, but I'd only learnt this deck, like, a week before the regional. And I wasn't too sure on what I'd take out and what uh, I'd yeah, nice, fair enough. So, but I probably would play Maxis. Like, like I said, I've got five spaces now that um, I'm going to put stuff in for. So like two Battle Faders are coming out. This card was like, it's good in theory, but I never sided it in because I wanted to go first against Cosmo to see Majesty's Fiend. Uh, and then the free Roder Curry is if I was going first against like Shitty Rogue or anything. But Twin Twisters just does the job. Like Master Restricts a card, but like Twin Twisters deals with it. And it's then, you don't want to brick hand open and too many like back row removal and back row like stopping things so yeah like I'm going to take this out and I have five spaces so like two maxis maybe three Valor or something like that but yeah any other changes you're going to make? <clears throat> um, the only other change I'm going to make is just cutting the one upstart and playing two upstarts in the main uh, I'm really happy with the main deck there's nothing I'd actually change I wouldn't play like you wouldn't want to play like uh, a terraforming and a chicken games instead or um, no I thought about that but like I still feel like upstart can be such a powerful card once you um like you do all your searching and you just upstart into something like really legit. Yeah. Um, like you can upstart into something really powerful, like reasoning or something like that. Yeah, that's right. So enough. yeah. All right, any shout outs? Shout outs to my main man Miles. Um <laughs> <laughs> doing this video. <coughs> shout out to Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh for getting it wrong on my uh, channel. On his channel, sorry. Um <laughs> shout outs to my team as well for helping me. Um Team Savage Raw. Whoop, whoop. Um and yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah. Shouts to my channel, the Ojama Knight. Go check that out as well. Yeah, link won't be in the description. All right, <laughs> cheers.